Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we're going to take a look at a Makusta knife. Now if you're not familiar with Makusta, you're missing out. This is a, an excellent knife company. Um, what they do is they're, uh, it's a Japanese knife, ma knife company. They make these knives over in Siki City, Japan, one of the knife making capitals of the world. And what their philosophy is, is to use the most modern possible techniques, laser cut parts, CNC machining, uh, but combine that though with cosmetic elements of traditional old world Japanese uh, design. And you put those two together and it's a, it's a winning combination. Uh, I really like the Makusta brand and, and the things that they, uh, that they come out with. It, it, it's, they, you, you definitely know it's a Japanese knife just from the, the design, but you also have a thoroughly modern knife that is, that is, is uh, I don't want to, to not make a pun, but is cutting edge. Um, here's the knife. Uh, this is the uh, African ebony wood version, and it comes in this, this leather and nylon sheath, which is, it's elegant and rugged at the same time. It's handsome. It does have the Makusta um, name there, brand, embossed into the flap. It does, it, this one is a vertical carry, sewn on. And this knife here is, you know, I mean, this is, this is a, I guess I suppose it, it would fall best into the category of gentleman's knife. Um, it is a pocket knife, but it is the next thing, all of these Makusta knives are the next thing to a custom knife. It's, it's got that kind of a feel, particularly in the action. Take a look at that. That is really, I don't think that the, the video can really even do it justice, but that is really a nice looking knife. You can see that wood there, that is the, the African ebony wood, and it's, it's the knife, I mean the steel also, you see this, this it's all been shaped in, in the, the theme of, a ba of bamboo, you know, the way the, a bamboo stick grows. Uh, you know, but that's, of course, it's not bamboo, but that is certainly a traditional look, of course, for a Japanese knife. Uh, the bolster is 55 layer Dam nickel Damascus. Very nice. You can see the blade perfectly centered there. The pocket clip has a ray skin look to it. Again, a traditional touch there. The, the knife just feels completely uh, solid and, and, and feels custom made just, just holding it. But then you go to open it. Wow. <laughs> that is a butter smooth action. Uh, I'm not kidding you. Yeah, you can feel it there in the in the action when you open it. Just real attention to de detail and just a butter smooth action. Really a joy. All right, there's the profile. It's a two and three quarter inch blade, and that is a, a full flat grind. That's VG10 steel. It's been hardened to 59 to 60 Rockwell. It's not a thick blade, but I wouldn't call it exactly thin either. You'll notice that the, the spine is polished. See that? The spine is polished, but the blade itself is satin. A nice touch. I like that. It's a real, really sharp, really sharp and pointed 
You can see how it comes to such an edge there or point. Dual thumb studs. They're not, they're not, uh, you know, they're not obnoxious or anything, but they're, they're, they're enough to get the job done. It's a liner lock knife. This pocket clip is reversible. Two screws there, so you could you could take that you could take that um, that pocket clip off, or you could spin it around to this side. And and of course that is a low rider that this would just this knife would completely disappear in your pocket. You see it go would go all the way up to the top. There's your Makusta VG10. A really fine knife. I mean, this is this is as close to custom making as as a production knife can get. Uh, they 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 make mock-ups uh, with. Uh, you know, like a lot, you know, like the car makers do, you know, car manufacturers, they build like a clay model car and, and look at it that way before they actually make it. They, they do the similar thing with their knives here at Makusta. Then they, they uh, laser cut everything. Uh, they machine it out so the tolerances are, are just absolutely tight. And then they assemble it by hand. You, and, and the whole thing has been designed with a traditional, you know, with a nod to tradition, a nod to the to the old world Japanese ways and, and that it's certainly not abandoning its heritage but it is making use of all of the modern techniques it's great great best of both worlds uh, I, this is a knife that would make a great gift for someone for a special occasion someone who's a knife a knife you know a connoisseur they would appreciate this this is the Makusta African Ebony Hardwood. Get the knife and you get a nice sheath with it. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.